Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're heading out to Sinad Academy to take a drone licensing course. Here in the United Arab Emirates, you have to have a license to fly your drone. And there are a lot of rules and regulations on what you can do, where you can do it, that sort of thing, as it is in most countries. But uh, the thing we want to avoid is taking our drone outside of the country. And then when we come back, uh, if we're asked if we have a license, we can show it so they wouldn't uh, give us any problems about bringing it in with us. I've heard rumors that they've actually uh, confiscated people's drones. I don't think that's the case if you're coming through uh, as a transient pastor or something like that. But if you're a resident or if you're going to be here for any length of time, you know, they want to protect the privacy of the citizens and of uh, other things like the military bases and that sort of stuff. Uh, that you know, and obviously just flying around airports, trying to be safe, obviously. It makes good sense. I don't uh, fault them in the least. But I've had my drone now for, uh, what, a little over a year and a half, two years, I think, is coming up. And uh, I want to do everything right, and I want to learn all the rules and regulations so that I can fly my drone safely in areas that it's permitted and not get in any trouble, or worse, lose my drone. So, hope to bring you some great video. Uh, I'm in the car, not on the motorcycle today, and that's because it's windy and dusty. There's a big dust storm going on. Uh, you probably can't see through my tinted windows right now. But um, going out deeper into the desert where Sunnet Academy holds the uh, course, and it will be even dustier out there. So we'll uh, bring you some video from uh, them. We hope to talk to them about their course, get a little bit of uh, insight as to how they do things, and then I think we may have to fly the drone. I'm not looking really forward to flying my drone in this dust storm because uh, it's very, very fine powdery dust and it could get into all sorts of uh, problems with the drone. So hopefully they'll have one for us to practice on or we'll do it inside, not 100% sure. Uh, the course is offered at a, a place where they fly radio controlled aircraft, so it might be outside. We'll see. So stay tuned and we'll bring you some more in a minute. I'm here to uh, register for the certificate yeah. to fly a drone as a hobby, right? Yeah? yeah. Hobby drone, there's yeah. the money, Emirates ID. What else do you need from me? A drone. My drone, I can get that for you. <clears throat> Certainly. All right, folks, so we're now we're going down to the classroom, and Dimple is going to give us, there she is, is going to give us the theory behind flying a drone in the UAE. Oh, look at the setup here with computers, classroom. I'll give a little plug out to Advanced Media where if you have a drone problem, take it to them and they can sort it out for you, as they did with me when my gimbal died. Woo, 100%. It took me longer because the microprocessor doesn't run at the same speed, <laughs> but I still come up with the same result, 100%. And thanks to Dimple, who was very helpful in doing the course. 
So now we're going to go to the next phase. Stay tuned. So here we are now after doing the theory course in what is referred to as the drone lab. It's also a little waiting room. You can see outside there is the runway for the radio control models. A lot of different types of drones. So now we're going to put our drone together. Cool. Hi folks. Today we're at Sanad Academy in Dubai and we're here to get our drone license to be ordered in order to uh, be able to fly our drone in Dubai and the UAE. I'm here with Mary from Sanad Academy. Hi Mary. Hello. How are you? I'm good. And uh, Mary, what can you tell us about the school? Like how long it's been here? What kind of courses that you offer? So Sanad Academy is a school for drones. So we're about approving almost three years already. So we, the CEO, which is Mansour Al Bushi, is a fund of drones. So yeah, we're endorsed by Dubai Civil Aviation Authority. So we test people, if, uh, pilots, if they're eligible to fly. So it is a prerequisite for you to get a permit. You need first to go to Santa Academy. So we offer services like trainings and certifications. For hobbyists, we have this uh, two services, which is the boot camp. So it includes three hours training. And then after the training, you will do the test, which is the certification. This uh, service is for people who doesn't know anything about drones. Like they need a training from basic. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but for people like who knows already how to fly and just need a certification, they can go through the test directly, mm -hmm. which is a certification. So yeah, no training, just the test directly. Okay. And what about commercial pilots that want to uh, do this for living, uh, photographers who want to be able to use their drones to uh, shoot aerial photography? Uh, do you offer courses yes. for them? Yes. For commercial, it will, it will be a um, more difficult thing, but we, we need to submit mandatory requirements mm -hmm. first. So for commercial certification, you need first to submit um, trade license mm -hmm. that includes uh, in Dubai. Mm -hmm. okay, it should include filming, photography, or photography media, sure. just stuff like that. And also you need to have bigger drones. Mm -hmm. So in like your case, you have the Mavic Pro, it's mm -hmm. not for commercial. Right. Okay, so you need at least Phantom 4, mm -hmm. Inspire 1, Inspire 2 matrix okay. to this stuff. Because uh, DCAA will be providing tracking device on your drone. Oh, transponder. Yeah, so we need to have a bigger drone. Okay. So, and also DCAA will be needing uh, drone insurance mm -hmm. for you to have the, your certification. Okay. Like, uh, approve and permit stuff. So. I see. I, I heard rumor that uh, if you are a commercial person that, you know, does this for a living and you have these um, drones that you yeah. do shoot video with, that they will put someone with you when you go out there to do your work. Is that true? Or do they just, you once you get approval to shoot a specific location, they let you go and do it on your own? I think, I'm not really sure about having someone since they have already the tracking device. Okay. So, yeah, you need to submit, example, you'll be shooting in a certain area, maybe downtown. Mm. You will submit to them, like the exact location where are you, when, mm. what time, like the span of time, maybe one to three, mm -hmm. maybe, and then the location, like the scope of the limit, um, the location. Mm -hmm. And if you exceed, there will be another thing, they will be notified as well because you have the tracking device. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, we came today and we got our license. Uh, well, we got our training. This is it here, my certificate. And now what's going to happen is uh, that uh, they will submit our documentation of our training to the DCAA. We will then register our drone with them, uh, which gives us permission to fly within Dubai. And then in order to fly within the UAE, the other Emirates, uh, we have to uh, register the drone with the GCAA, which is the Civil Aviation Authority for the United Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of a process, but it's worthwhile. Uh, it, it maintains safety for everybody, and uh, it's a great course to come and do. And we appreciate it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, that's it. Until next time. Thank you. See you later.